Let's start with the second part of agriculture and wildlife. Uh, in the previous part, we have talked about the various specific animals like hangul, pangolin, which have been in news recently. The various status for the animals, the organizations like Mammals of India, uh, the repositories that have been established. Now, the next is uh, the continuation to that section. Uh, you have some of the major tiger reserves that were in news. Of these, the three of those that have been underlined are really, really important. You have Satokia Tiger Reserve in Odisha. Now, this is a region where you have the first interstate translocation of the tiger that took place. It's really, really important. As we talked about in the uh, century you had in the Sagar district, Norkutra century, you had the translocation from Nambia that took place for the tigers. Here you have the tigers that have been uh, brought from Madhya Pradesh Kana Tiger Reserve. So this was a news. The Param uh, Parambikulam uh, Tiger Reserve which has nearly 221 varieties of butterfly is located in Kerala. It's again important. You have numerous endemic species that are seen here. And the last is the Chinnar Wildlife Sanctuary in Kerala. Again important because you have a rare bird which is known as Sri Lankan frog mouth that has been sighted in this region. You have an invasive aphid species in the Kashmir Valley that has been seen. It attacks mainly the temperate fruits and it's the first time that has been recorded in the Kashmir Valley area. It feeds mainly on the sap of the plant that is being uh, released mainly in the Himachal Pradesh and Punjab area. This is commonly seen. The next is Christed fungus. Now, Christed fungus is important because it attacks mainly the amphibians. There was a rule that the amphibians from Asia won't be accepted in other countries because of the fear of this citrate fungus. Uh, this mainly affects the frog population and this is considered as a killer fungus. You have numerous areas where you have seen uh, the critid fungus that has expanded tremendously. The next is the Gir Wildlife Sanctuary. Uh, you have the Gir Sanctuary in Gujarat, known for Asiatic lions. There recently you had a virus which is known as CDV or canine distemper virus which spread. This virus infects the gastrointestinal system, the respiratory system as well as the central nervous system. Uh, the dogs which come uh, in line are also affected by the same. This can spread through direct or indirect contact and uh, there is primarily no cure for this virus that affects it. So far you had more than 23 lions that were found dead in the gear century because of this and had been in news very very important. <clears throat> Bamboo has been considered as green gold. So far this was cla classified under the category of tree. However, later on it was brought under the uh, criteria of grass and therefore uh, cutting of bamboo was allowed. Northeast part of India grows nearly 67% of the total bamboo production in India. You have the National Bamboo Mission which is now part of the National Mission of Sustainable Agriculture. Uh, quality bamboos have been found uh, with nearly 35 species which are considered very very superior in bamboo and in Northeast you have a new concept of utilizing bamboos by, for making tree houses and different products that has uh, uh, come up and gained importance. Now, Odisha has been changing the norms for the food procurement policy. We have talked about the food procurement, the PDS system and the minimum support price in a separate lecture, a very, very important topic. Uh, now here the procurement policy for the Kharif marketing season has changed and you have a fixed uh, market support price that would be given, a minimum support price that would be given for uh, the common variety and a good variety of paddy that has been given and the money would be directly into the account of the farmer within three days of procurement. The next is Pondicherry shark is considered as an endangered species. It's usually seen in the East Godavari region. This is considered critically endangered and has been in the position since 1979. It's mainly found in the uh, Indo-Pacific region. You have uh, the Pondicherry shark which is mainly grey colored from above and from the lower side it's white in color. The tip is black. 
uh, that's the major characteristic and as we said it has been listed under critically endangered under IUCN categorization. Shark is under the 25 most wanted lost species by the global wildlife conservation where we have a search for lost species initiative that has been released. Solar bubble dryer is again a initiative where you have sun drying technology the traditional sun drying technology has its own limitations because you have seasonal fluctuations the cloudy uh, weather conditions the uh, unequal heating that actually takes place contamination that could occur, occur so all those things are ruled out under the solar bubble dryer system uh, this has been developed by international rice research institute uh, and grain pro along with one university which is honmin university so this is a drying process which is much more faster more regulated more cost efficient uh, and much more better where you have less contamination that could be seen very very important question not only for your prelims but also for your mains point calimer this was in news after the cyclone gaja struck recently you had the cyclone fani so the recent episodes of cyclones have been important the naming of the cyclone is again important we have discussed that in one of the separate lectures the cyclone indian cyclone systems you can refer that now point calimer is important because it's one of the major protected areas of tamil nadu uh, it's home to near threatened species which is known as black buck antelope so there are four species of antelopes those are those are chinkara chosinga nilgai and the black bucks black bucks have been worshipped by bishnoi community in the regions of rajasthan as well and this point calimer is also famous as a migratory water bird site and it's one of the second largest sites in India. The next is Amur falcon. Amur falcon is native to northeast Siberia and north China. It flies to India during the winter months there and mainly goes to Nagaland. However, in Nagaland, there has been a lot of hunting and poaching activity that has been seen because this is considered as a delicacy food in Nagaland. So, center decided to develop a conservation center which is known as Dayong Lake in Nagaland which is considered as the roosting site for Amur Falcon and also an ecotourism site. Uh, this is not a very big bird. It's only of the size of pigeon but has been uh, important for the ecosystem. The next is black buck, as we already said, has been worshipped by the Bishnoi community. It is the second, la second fastest animal after cheetah that is considered. It's under the least concern category. So there are ample of black bucks that are seen. However, the hunting has been prohibited under the Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Act 1972. Uh, this is uh, uh, antelope which is found not only in India, but also in the neighboring regions of Nepal and Pakistan. Uh, that's some of the major characteristics of black bug. The next is Bramble K. melonis. Bramble K. is basically a mammal which is seen in the Great Barrier Reef. It's important because it's a species which is considered on the verge of extinction because of anthropogenic anthropogenic climate change that has been caused and the sea level that has been rising has been affecting the bramble k so it's a small rodent that is present endemic to the great barrier reef areas uh, however the conservation has been seen recently the next is flying bulldog which is also known as wallace giant bee it's considered as the world's largest bee and has been rediscovered in the parts of indonesia it is shifted uh, and under the category of vulnerable in IUCN classification, it mainly lives in the Indonesian islands of North Molaccas, uh, where you have the termite molds that are usually seen and those are the nest nesting areas for flying bulldogs. The next are the various vultures. There are nine species of vultures that are found in India, of which we are talking about the Cinereus vulture that is mainly sighted in Jharkhand. However, of recent, there were sightings that were seen in northern parts of India, mainly in the parts of Rajasthan. It's in the, under the category of near threatened in IUCN categorization. So it's again important. Then you have the Asian Water Bird Census, which is a coordinated, uh, which is coordinated by Wetlands International and is a part of International Water Bird Census that has been released. Now, important bird and biodiversity areas, which are known as IBA, is an initiative of bird 
uh, bird life international now it aims to identify monitor and protect the various uh, conservation centers and you have uh, a new atlas that was published by bird wildlife which was known as e atlas and it's the first marine important birds and biodiversity areas wildlife atlas with more than 3000 uh, water uh, water animals that have been water areas that have been cited in this Odisha, you have a new festival that was the second national bird festival that was held in Chilka Lake. Chilka Lake we have already seen. It is also known as the birds paradise of Asia. In part one, we have already covered how a lot of migratory birds are coming there. You have the Nalabana bird century, which is closer to this in Odisha. That's again home to numerous uh, birds. You have the National Chilka Bird Festival Award which was given to Mangal Jodi Ecotourism Group. Mangal Jodi as we already saw in the previous class is located close to the Chilka Reservoir. It's home to numerous migratory species and therefore has been important. The last important thing was Golden Langur. Uh, you have the breeding project that is started uh, in Assam. That's under the name of Golden Langur Conservation Breeding uh, in the state of Assam. The Assam Zoo has this and you have uh, the currently endangered species which is golden langur has been uh, protected and conserved in this region so that's about the two sections on uh, the agriculture and wildlife will be bringing many important expected question series before your examination so stay tuned have a wonderful day